yeah, that's how getting hit by a car is going. Ah! Once you hit 20, no more scrape knees ever again. Let me down. This music and this view does not fit. <laughs> They have sniff dogs and they're so cute. I'm back in Japan. Oh, I don't like this one. I'm waiting for my bags right now. I really have to go to the bathroom, but I want to get out of here as soon as possible. This has been so crazy. I feel a little scared waiting for my bags because usually I fly here direct, but this time I got a layover because I wanted to fly out of Bakersfield. Oh my, I'm never doing layovers again. That was a nightmare. The first plane was delayed, which means I probably wasn't going to make my connection flight. I don't even know how they would have been able to put the bags on the, on the thing in time because I literally had four minutes to run from that plane to the next so how she doesn't use her brain often she's dusting off the cobwebs i just don't see if, how they i don't know how this works clearly comment below if you know how they get the bags to the next plane because there ain't no way you loaded that whole plane even in the 58 minutes that i originally had i can't see them unloading and loading all the luggage clearly anyways i have four minutes and so I don't, I don't know if my luggage made it. Oh, I'm so scared. I just want to go home. Also, comment down below what seats you are. I'm a window seat all the time because, like, I gotta look out the window. Like, it's a vibe out there, right? But if you have to go to the bathroom, which I usually don't that much, but this time I did, and I was sitting next to literally a corpse. This woman didn't move the whole... Y'all, this plane was it was almost 14 hours. She didn't move. I'm like, what kind of bladder you got? Where do they sell those at? I need one. So yeah, I had to bother her to get up and I felt really bad. And I really had to go at the end, but I was like, I'm not gonna bother you again because you, you really, really knocked out over there. Anyways, I thought I would do like a little getting back on track vlog because that's basically what I'm gonna be doing the next couple of days. So yeah, welcome to the vlog, guys. Bruh. Ah! Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, we go. Oh, we're gonna die. You're doing a legal job. Except that what? Why did I ask for a ride? Food. No. <laughs> no. See, this is like the what is it? The ritual. I land, we go straight to ramen. But I've been eating nothing but garbage for weeks. I gained like three or four pounds. Not even gonna lie. Because like the last thing I did was go to the doctor and they weighed me. I was like, oh, is that right? Mm, maybe it's the shoes. Can't take off my shoes. I don't think it was the shoes. And I didn't have no snacks on the plane because I had to run and I didn't have time to buy none. So I had to eat the plain food and the plain food is heavy. It's bread. I can't do bread. I don't know why. Every time I eat some bread, it just don't leave my body. It's just sitting there. So I'm feeling heavy. I need to detox. But somebody want ramen. I'm going to watch. And I can't watch you eat ramen. No, I'm good with that ramen. It's like torture. I had ramen yesterday, to be honest. Oh, you should live in your best life. I got so many questions on Instagram about how to vote from abroad. It's actually really simple. Once you're registered, you just go online and fill out your ballot as you would in person. You can print it out and mail it in or fax it to your local county office. Tell me why I literally waited until the last minute to do this. I had one hour to get this ballot in. The only way it would get there in time to be counted was if I faxed it. I called my sister and I was like, what's a fax machine? I think I seen one of these on Flintstones. What, what are we doing? Give me the fax on how to fax. And she was like, do you know you have 30 minutes? 30, 30, 30, 30, yes. Luckily, you can do all things at the all-powerful Combini. So I rushed to the convenience store to use this machine that lets you like print and fax stuff. It took me a minute to figure it out because I've never faxed nothing from here and also everything's in Japanese. But your girl got her ballot in with just a few minutes to spare. A lot of people don't know this, but I actually studied politics in college. This is like my area of expertise. I'm very serious when it comes to voting. I even called up an old colleague of mine who studied politics with me back in university who is now a lawyer to go through my entire ballot with me. Yes, I live in Japan, but I have multiple businesses registered in the state of California and I pay taxes. I fly home every year for treatment for my medical condition. A lot of this stuff affects me, especially on the state level. I've been seeing an insane amount of misinformation and just incorrect statements in general that are floating around on the internet. I actually have so much to say. Let me know if y'all want more in-depth information on this topic. This election was very concerning for a lot of people and I just want to say that I love you guys. No matter what anyone says, you are important and you matter. Please be safe out there, guys, and take care of yourselves.
If I'm eating healthy, I cook a lot, so I usually go grocery shopping like once or twice a week. Here's everything that I got. Cilantro. I love these flat udon noodles. A pack of tofu, and I love this because it's so cheap, and it comes in a pack of three. Very easy to use. 7.2 grams of protein. Natto also comes in a pack of three. 8.4 grams of protein. Kimchi and also more convenient packaging. Chicken boobies, ground beef mixed with pork, chicken wings, rabbit food, a bag of instant miso soup, and I usually have this with the tofu. Vinegar for cooking, soy sauce, and this sauce is like the Japanese equivalent to Rishishishire sauce. What? This is like a kimchi flavored sauce. I use this a lot for cooking. Frozen broccoli, tater tots, tempura batter, eggplants, a cucumber, Bananas wrapped in unnecessary plastic. I hate that they do this. Like, bananas already got a peel. English muffins. I really don't eat bread. However, if people are over, I'll buy bread. I freaking love this ice cream. It's like cookies and cream flavor. And then I also got this ice cream. I really don't eat sweets that often either, but I like to have it on hand if I want something. And yeah, that is everything I got for right now. If I want to eat healthy, I have to make sure that I'm stocked up on all the go-tos because if I don't have something, I'll just go to Uber Eats. And that's not good. I don't know if you can hear me. Let me get away from this traffic. I'm at the coffee shop. I'm currently at Verve. This is like one of those coffee shops that's by my house. They actually have two locations. A lot of people don't know this. There's one in like the main area of Kamakura. And then there's this one. It's also in Kamakura, but it's like, I don't know, kind of up the way a little bit. Anyways, we at the coffee shop because I'm going to be here all day. I have a butt ton of work to do. Um, Ash has a butt ton of work to do. So I'm just going to live at the coffee shop for a little while. <laughs> and um, that's literally all that's going on today. Like, I don't even know if y'all can tell, but, but I still got this stupid cough. <laughs> and since I've been back, I'm like, I got to do everything I can to get rid of this thing. We're getting into like the season where it's getting cold finally, but Japan is so, it don't make no sense. See this, this is when I usually get sick. Hottest flip, coldest flip, and then today, perfect. perfect. I don't know what to wear. I have on a tank top and jeans. Anyways, I'm about to go inside and work for probably the entire day since I'm gonna be here all day. I would also like to thank AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Voice over Sunday, take it away because they're playing music in there. Is the season of illnesses and diseases. I'd like to end my story on 2024 with a happy ending, but with my bad luck and weak immune system, a handshake could be a plot twist. It's been a rough year, and although we're at the end, things are just starting to pick up. You might be feeling a little stretched thin, but now more than ever, in my opinion, our body needs the immune system support. AG1 is a daily nutritional supplement that I take every single day for whole body health, and it's so Easy. I add ice, some water, one scoop of AG1, shake it up real good. Recently, I've been doing half coconut water. It tastes so good. It tastes tropical. And a drop of their liquid dietary supplement. It's packed with so many different vitamins and minerals and supports immune defense in the body with ingredients like vitamin C, zinc, and spirulina. You can store the greens in this canister. It comes with a scooper, but if you're always out on the go, they have these travel packs and a tumbler. This is such a game changer for energy and productivity. While away in California, I actually mailed my friend all of the AG1 travel packs that I had on hand. It is actually insane how different I feel when I'm not drinking AG1. Not only do I feel a big difference in my energy and not feeling sluggish, but also I'm busy. I'm lazy. It is the easiest way for me to get a daily dose of vitamins, antioxidants, and probiotics. Supporting your immune system is crucial during the fall months, especially in preparation for the holidays and the weather change. Every week of November, AG1 will be running a very special Black Friday offer with a free gift with your first subscription, in addition to the welcome kit with vitamin D3 with K2. Go to drinkag1.com slash sundaylove or scan the QR code here on the screen. There's all kind of cool special gifts changing weekly. Now is the perfect time to try them out. Thanks so much AG1 for sponsoring today's video. <coughs> Bruh. <sighs> oh, tell me why. Tell me why. 
Anyways. Why well, I just get to do a car accident? Honestly, it was bound to happen. Like, I've lived here nine years. I just feel like the statistics, it, it makes sense. I shouldn't talk like that. Like, I ride my bike every day, and these roads are so small. There's no bike path. It's so dangerous. It was bound to happen, I feel like. I am so mad because I scraped both of my knees. Y'all, I'm way too old to have scraped knees. I'm way too... I, this, no! Once you hit 20, no more scraped knees. It just shouldn't be happening. Comment down below, when is the last time you scraped your knee and how old you were? In both knees? I think my hands are so rough. My hands are harder than the pavement, so that was kind of okay there. The guy did not give two poops about me. He stopped the car. He did not care to check on me. Two other, like, mopeds or something stop and, like, make sure that I'm okay because I'm on the ground. You know, and I'm in a bike and you're in a car. I don't know. It makes sense. The only thing he cared about was his car. And I was like, dang, you're not even gonna ask if I'm okay? He was only worried about showing me the damage. He's like, yeah, look at this. This is you. Like, basically, like, you did this. This is from you. That's all he had to say to me. And I was like, I know. I understand. Like, let me give you my information. Don't worry. After that, he was, like, a little nicer. And then finally his wife, she comes over. She's like, are you okay? I'm like, girl, you should have asked that 10 minutes ago. You didn't care if I was okay earlier. All you care about was the scratch on your car. That is so weird to me. Like, your first reaction to, like, hitting someone should be, like, are you okay? Are you good? Like, should I call an ambulance? Like, I, like, are... I was literally on the ground. <laughs> like, the people who didn't even hit me was trying to make sure I was good. Like, come on. That's how I was starting my morning. And I was already feeling sick. I think that's why I was just so out of Like, I don't know if you could tell, but I've been sick for a few days, like two. This is like day three and it's finally like getting better, but I just feel so like lightheaded and exhausted and tired. <coughs> And I still have that exact same cough, which is just keep coming back. So yeah, I'm just like really out of it today. And I am not surprised about any of this. I'm just really sad about my knees. Like I hope this heals well because I do not heal well at all. If I get any type of scratch, I'll have a scar for life. Please, please don't do this. Not my knees. I don't need that kind of reputation. Ah, this stinks. After I let him take, I was like, here, you wanna take a picture of my ID just to give him some kind of, you know, to feel good. I gave him my phone number, I gave him my address. I told him he could take a picture of my ID. My dumb butt forgot to take a photo of his damages. Oh, here's the dark side that you would never even know about. Japan is hecka notorious for like, I don't know, insurance fraud, like scams. This is huge here. So basically like one thing will be broken and then they'll say all this stuff is broken to get Get someone else's insurance company to pay for it but the thing is i don't have i don't know bike insurance i don't have that so i would be coming out of pocket and my dumb butt forgot to take a photo of his damages and i'm just praying he doesn't try to pull no fast one over me and try and say like this i did this 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 this, this. which has happened to so many of my friends like it you have to be so careful out here and you would never know because japan in general is so honest polite you would never think to look for freaking scams Scam. i literally had helped two friends get out of scams actually was around for one of my friends situation luckily he was like me like panic not thinking and I was like nah girl let me see everything and let me take pictures and thank goodness I did because she did later come back and try to scam him that's crazy oh don't have to walk around with band-aids on my knees luckily it's getting cold my knees shouldn't be out anyways but like why me I must have like the most cushy apartment in heaven because the amount of bad luck I have down here on earth don't make no sense for the type of person I am it makes no sense I'm gonna go lay on my back all right, I'm gonna show you my recent healthy breakfast obsession. Starting off with my favorite rice. I love this because it's easy, it's already cooked. I don't have to worry about measuring the proper serving size and it's super low cal. I just get this on Amazon and have it delivered monthly. So many times I end up eating something unhealthy because I can't be bothered cooking rice. I just pop this in the microwave and I'm good to go. I'm obsessed with instant miso soup. This comes with a packet of miso and four different soup flavors. I'm on a high protein diet. One of the soups does come with dried tofu inside, but that is absolutely not enough. So I add an a chunk of fresh tofu as well for extra protein and all I have to do is add the little packets and hot water and I'm good to go. You'll notice the trend of this breakfast is pre-packaged and quickly. I've recently been obsessed with natto. If you've never tried it, it's basically fermented soybeans. It comes in this styrofoam container with a packet of soy sauce and spicy mustard seasonings that you can mix in. There are all kinds of different flavors and it is so cheap. It's a staple food in Japanese households and arguably the healthiest food in the world. It has an insane amount of health benefits. However, due to the texture and taste, most people actually don't like it. I personally like the taste, but the texture is something that I'm getting used to. It's extremely slimy, so if you don't like okra, you, you probably won't like this. But yeah, natto is rich in probiotics, vitamin C, so many minerals, a significant amount of vitamin K2, which helps suppress brain inflammation. It helps with weight loss, prevention of heart disease, strengthening your bones, just like overall increase your longevity. Since I suffer from a weak immune system and brain inflammation, I thought I better get over the texture and 
start implementing this into my diet. Y'all, I highly recommend that you create at least one go-to healthy meal that you will have every single day. This is life-changing. Something that's low-cal, low-sugar, high in protein. If you can add in some vegetables, great. If you're feeling tired, sluggish, brain fog, don't have a lot of energy, craving really bad foods, make sure at least one of your meals a day is healthy. I do so many different things in the morning. It's quite the routine, but I also have two of these collagen gummies with breakfast. Obviously, living in Japan has influenced my life and my diet quite a bit. These are just the ingredients and things that are easy for me to get. However, you can get this stuff if you're back home in America. Try going to your local Asian grocery store or even Amazon might have something online. Alright, so update um, with the whole getting hit by a car situation. It took me a minute uh, to recover. I thought it wasn't that bad. Like, it hurt, but it wasn't until later that I was like, oh, this really hurts. Oh, my whole body hurts. <laughs> Trigger warning if you're sensitive to gory stuff. It's not that bad. Y'all, I couldn't even sleep. Like, every part of my body is hurting. <laughs> like, I'm so sore everywhere. My elbows, my knees, my side, my back, my upper shoulder. It's like, dang, girl, what did you do? I don't even remember rolling. Like, how did you... I hit every part of the body. And that's probably the fastest I've ever had a... a bruise come up like usually i'll hit myself and the bruise will be there like two three days later this junk was there this morning slowly bruises are popping up everywhere yeah i literally had to just like chill for a little while i couldn't do nothing i was like i just gotta lay down so yeah it's mostly bruising thank goodness nothing was broken like this could have been so much worse my mom and my sister were so angry they're like oh my god i'm like it's literally scratches and bruises it could have been internal bleeding and uh broken bones so i'm not that mad <laughs> also i'm pretty accident prone like i'm always getting into something y'all but yeah, the guy, he did call um, and request money. I was like, oh, okay. He gave me his business card, right? And I translated it. And he is the president of an automotive repair shop and insurance policy company. <laughs> I've been on the conspiracy theory side of TikTok for a little bit too long. I was like, did you do this on purpose? So yeah, he called and he was like, it's going to be 222,000 something something yen. It's like... For you it is. He had like his employee call and his employee can speak English. And I was like, does your boss know that it was his fault? And he was like, I think he knows. <laughs> like, okay, well tell your boss that his insurance should cover that. And he's like, okay, I'm gonna tell him and I'll call you back. They haven't called back since, it's been a few days, so we'll see. I feel like I didn't even explain how it happened. I'm on my bike here and there's like a hill, another street, and you have to like accelerate to make it up this hill. So I'm about to turn to go up this hill, right? And there's a car behind me. I, he was back there. I speed up so that I can turn and go up the hill and he sped up from behind me at the same time to go around me so he can go in front of me, right? He sped up behind me and I sped up to turn. It was one of these. So yeah, he like cut off my turn, but we were both like accelerated. So it was just like a big, yeah, your girl was laid out. That's how getting hit by a car is going this week. I've been traveling so much, the vegetable garden was completely abandoned. I still have some crops coming in from the summer garden, but they're on their way out. It's basically a new gardening season, so I would be starting fresh anyways. If you did not know, this is my favorite time to garden. A lot of my favorites are grown in this season. A lot of leafy greens like kale and spinach. Today, I'm going to be replanting some kale seedlings that I had planted before I left. They're finally ready to get into bigger containers. <laughs> vegetable garden extremely therapeutic like this is what I do when I want to unwind and relax but it also saves a butt ton of money there are so many things that cost way too much money in Japan to buy like kale and jalapenos I can grow all that stuff myself for a fraction of the cost if the crazy state of the world is not a big enough reason for you to start a vegetable garden do it for your health you don't need a lot of space and you don't even have to have an outside area you can grow a lot of stuff just from your window I recommend starting with something easy like lettuce or herbs it's a fun and easy way to start eating healthier. 
I'm just doing some laundry, getting caught up on everything in the house. You like my Ronma cup? I had this for a really long time, don't mind the, the condition, but they're doing like a remake of Ronma on Netflix right now, if you guys wanna watch this. It's the same creators as my absolute favorite anime of all time, Inuyasha. Yeah, I just absolutely love this anime, and now they're remaking it. Like the remakes recently have actually been fire. Fruits Basket, Ronin Kenshin, Hunter Hunter, and now Ronma. Ooh, these remakes. I saw that they were doing a Sailor Moon remake also. Let me know if you've seen that because that one just rubbed me the wrong way. I was like, mm, maybe no. Anyways, I just got another package. I want to see what this is. Not sponsored. This package isn't sponsored. Recently, they came out with their own vitamin supplements. Oh my gosh, so excited. This could be a whole Netflix documentary. There are so many companies out there that are selling vitamins and supplements that are actually like complete garbage. Like they don't really have to tell you exactly what is in these pills and a lot of times it's just fluff. But I'm an actual sick girl. Like I have a lot of deficiencies. I have very specific vitamins that I have to take. So because I can't trust most of these, I get most of them from my actual doctor. But um, AG1 just so happens to be one of them clean, real. <laughs> Bruh, they the real ones. So I know whatever the flip they come out with is gonna be right. It's gonna be good and it's not gonna be filled with fluff. And they just so happen to have come out with, this is not sponsored by the way, I'm legit excited. They just came out with this omega-3, which is great because this is one of the supplements that I have to take every single day. And now I don't have to get that expensive junk from my doctor. Also, Stay with me, y'all. Health is important. These are the drops that I put in my drink in the morning that has the green powder. This is vitamin D3 with K2. Let me explain. Like, people go buy these supplements and not actually know how to take them, and it's so important. No, you can't take vitamin D3 by itself. You need K2 for better absorption, for it to actually properly work. It's liquid, which is awesome, because I have so many pills I have to take. If I can reduce the amount of rocks going down my throat, I absolutely will. I don't even see what this is. It feels like. Oh my god, it's a hat. <laughs> Y'all saw this. I just opened it. I pretty much wear a hat nonstop, even in the house. Yes, I'm in the house by myself, and it's green. How did they know? Are they watching me? I think they're spying on me. Oh, okay. This is what we're doing. Anyways, I need to get on um all this laundry over here. <laughs>